it's Sophia, the Shadow Hunter, and today I'm going to be doing a shopping haul for you guys from Hot Topic. I have never shopped at Hot Topic before, until now, and I used to go to the store a lot with my friends when I was younger, and they had a lot of cool of uh, fandom things, music things, they have lots of just TV shows and things like that, really cool, famous movies, Harry Potter stuff, music stuff. And so the stuff I'm going to be showing to you guys today is music. And I did an online order because if you make an account, you get 10% off your order and they had a sale 30% off. So I went ahead and bought a few things because I've been looking for Iron Maiden teachers and I'm planning on to do a video maybe I'll film it tomorrow, about where I found you can find some authentic, cheap, real band merchandise because with Iron Maiden, if you don't buy things during that tour, they sell, they put them on sale and then they're gone you can't get them anymore. And that's really sad and disappointing and I was so happy to find some of those cute shirts that I wanted to get on the tour last, which I did not do. So let's get started. So the first thing I ordered when I went to Hot Topic was this Iron Maiden shirt. And normally it was $22.90. I think I paid, it was $21 for it. It says Iron Maiden on here. And it's got Eddie on it on the stained glass. And it's really cute. I love it. It's colorful. It's soft. Um, this is actually what is on the picture on the Iron Maiden game on the Iron Maiden Legacy of the Beast. So this is for the Legacy of the Beast tour. However, this is not a... Um, this is not official merchandise, but it looks it looks real. It does not say Legacy of the Beast on it, but it is for the game, for those who know. Because the tour was named after the game, and they're still going on with that tour now. They've been touring for that game now for over a year now, I think. So we'll see how long it goes, because I already want to go see them again. However, I would have loved to see, I would have gone and see them three nights in a row when they were in Texas last year, and I wish I would have done that. I should have done that, but I didn't. They're, they keep on playing the same set list. They aren't like other bands, like Rush, they would have like, you know, th they would have three different sets where they would deviate from what they did. And so far, what I've seen, their sets has been the same every night. Not to mean that I wouldn't want to go see them, even if they play the exact same sets every time. It was amazing. I would totally go see it again. But, I mean, to spend so much money on a ticket, I'd like to see something that's a little bit different. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Alright, next, I got some... I, I've been wanting to get some more, um... Funko Pops, and they had a sale three for twenty eight. Normally they're twelve ninety, and so they were on sale for like nine dollars a piece, which you can't beat that. So I wanted to get the Peace of Mind Eddie, but I did not have that. So I got the other ones. And I've been wanting to get the Def Leppard one. So I got Iron Maiden. This is number one forty three. This is Iron Maiden Eddie. This is from their first. This is for their first album. This is from their self titled Iron Maiden. Look how cute he is. And this is 143 vinyl figure, Pop Rocks. Got his green shirt, his jeans, his belt, and his Converse. Very cute. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them in my box. I've kept my Rush ones in my box because let me know in the comments down below if you guys keep them in their box. I think for collector's value, they'd probably stand better in their boxes. However, I'm probably not going to sell these because I love them so much. Next, here I got my Def Leppard one. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to get, but I decided to get Vivian Campbell because he is one of my he is one of my favorite members of Def Leppard, and and I was like, which one do I get? I was like, I think I want to get this one. Plus, I just thought he was one of the cuter ones as well of the bobbleheads. So here it is, Def Leppard number one fifty one, Vivian Campbell. He's got his signature black guitar, black pants, his necklaces, which all um, band for Def Leppard, they have matching necklaces. They were like three different ones in a cross, and his blue jean vest, and his long brown curly hair before he got cancer. And so, Joe Elliott is 147, Rick Savage is 148, Rick Allen is 149, Phil Collar is 150, and Vivian Campbell is 151. Let's collect them all. So these came out last year, but in America they didn't come out till January or I wanted to get them for Christmas. But they were not in, so I did not get them. Alright. Next I have my other Iron Maiden one. And this is I this is Eddie Killer's Eddie. This is number 144. 
So I have their first two album eddies. I don't know if they if they made them for all of the albums. I think they did. I'm not even sure how many eddies they have. Let's hear. Yeah, so they have this Iron Maiden Eddie is 143, Killers Eddie is 144, Nomad the Beast Eddie is 145, and it's got the little devil with him, and Peace of Mind Eddie is 146. Oh, I want to get that one. So I really want to get the Peace of Mind Eddie because it's I like the Peace of Mind Eddie the best. I think it's one of the, their most successful um, ones. So maybe I can get them all of them. They don't have all my favorite bands in the pop rock, so I guess I'll just get the rest of these ones. I, people were saying I wish they made the actual band members into these, which I wish they did too. However, Steve said that one of the reasons why they spent so much time and money on coming up with Eddie is they didn't want to put their face on album covers. Because they said back then the artists were on the covers. And obviously nowadays people hardly do that anymore. I mean they still do that, but not much with rock and metal. And so they wanted to save themselves from that, so they came up with Eddie. And isn't he adorable? Please let me know in the comments down below where you like to get your music merchandise from, what you want to buy. If there are past concert shirts you guys are trying to find, I could tell you guys all these sites where you can get them for cheaper and they're still authentic. I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time in our video. Goodbye.